Hello! Today we're going to build an LED light. First, you're going to need LEDs. I recommend buying whichever ones suit your needs and or budget. Uh, you're also going to need a soldering iron. Uh, you, should also, you should use a fine tip soldering iron. You're going to definitely see a benefit here when you're doing repeated soldering and tight spaces. Uh, you're going to need some type of case. And for the, for the case in this project, I'm using just a simple 4-inch round electrical box you can get at your local hardware store. And it's electrical rated. It does the job very well. Sturdy. You're also going to need a cover to mount the LEDs in. This cover just happens to match the box very well. Um, it's pretty thick. It's plastic, non-conductive. You can easily drill through it. Uh, I recommend also using a template for this cover. Uh, you'll find trying to drill holes, more than 10 holes in, in, in the cover, getting straight lines is going to be almost impossible. Light output's going to be hard to get straight, and also soldering things that are out of trim is going to be difficult too. This template and other templates can be downloaded and printed at allenergies.net. Uh, you're also going to need a power supply. Uh, for this project, we're just going to use a simple uh, wall-mounted transformer, DC output. You can also use your uh, a direct DC source such as a battery like on your off-the-grid system or rectified AC, but more on that later. You're also probably going to need some sort of form of power reduction. You can, use, you can do this with a resistor if you have a regulated source or a simple voltage regulator and get the exact output voltage you need. Um, you're also going to need, obviously, wire, um, single or multi-conductor, depending on what you're doing. Uh, I also recommend using, having some form of an alligator clip. This can hold the LED terminals together for soldering, and also doubles as a heat sink, so you don't burn out your LEDs. For this project, I also recommend a multimeter, digital multimeter. Uh, test things before you turn them on, check for continuity, and prevent possibly burning out a string of LEDs, which would be rather sad. All right, um, next we're going to drill holes in the cover, and we'll explain how to do that. Now we're drilling the holes in the cover plate. For this particular um, template, there's 36 LEDs organized in a square, and this is the cover plate, as you can see here, and this is the template. Um, the LEDs are 5 millimeters wide, and the corresponding drill bit size for that is 13 64ths. For this job, I'm going to be using the drill press. It makes the job go much quicker, but you can also use a hand drill uh, and get adequate results. Yep, just start the corresponding pattern. It goes right through the template just fine. Just line up the center holes. Well, this is your finished product. Uh, as you can see, the template um, did a very good job of lining up the holes, and now we'll remove it to see our results. Uh, as you can see, everything's in nice rows, a little bit easy soldering, and a nice even light output. Um, the LEDs fit nicely in the appropriate size holes. Just slide right in. All right, on to the next step, wiring.